Hey guys, welcome back to The Hide. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of compact Glock pistols, and namely the Glock 30, and more importantly how it compares to a few other really popular Glock models. I know a lot of guys are really, really into the Glock 26 and the Glock 19, which I am as well, but they always consider the Glock 30, but may have never been able to shoot it or get some actual dimensional characteristics as it is compared to those other two really popular models, the 19 and the 26. So today I have out on the bench my Gen 5 26, my Gen 4 19, and my Gen 4 Glock 30. I'm going to be taking a couple shots here and just kind of let you guys see the overall performance of them, how it's handled and everything, and more importantly, for those that might be interested, possibly the felt recoil in the 30, which I will say, guys, if you've never shot one, you really need to because you will be surprised. But we're going to take a couple shots here. I'm going to start off with the, the Glock 26. And as you guys know, this is what was originally named the Baby Glock for obvious reasons. But we'll get into some of the dimensions here in a second. All right. Gotta love the 26, fellas. And probably everybody's favorite, this is the Glock 19. You know, as they say, all pistols aspire to be the 19. It is the overall feel, the fit and finish of it is really, really tough to beat, guys. It's easy to conceal. You're getting really good magazine capacity out of a fairly compact package. By far one of my most favorite pistols. All right, very nice. And here's the one you guys have been waiting for, the Glock 30. Now granted, it does have a little bit more beef to it. Obviously the slide's gonna be a little bit thicker, a little bit more width, just due to the round itself. But if you guys have never shot one of these and you're considering one, and the only thing that's kind of holding you back, maybe you're an older shooter, your wrists aren't as good as what they used to be, I used to work on cars for a living. My wrists are pretty much trash. So even I don't have any issues at all controlling the recoil in one of these. That is a lot of firepower in a compact package, fellas, I have to say. But overall, the feel of these rifles, or pistols, I should say, I'm sorry, they are more or less the same. That's what I really like about Glocks. Because no matter which one you go through, the hand grip and everything else is, is pretty much the same. Actually, I can get the same type of quality hits out of the 26 as I can the 19. They feel that, that much similar. The overall fit and finish is extremely the same. As you can tell, the Baby Glock is known as the baby Glock for a reason, but whenever you're shooting these pistols, they, they feel very, very similar. And that's what I think the allure of the Glock pistol is for a lot of guys, is you can pick one up, even if it's your buddies at a range, if you've trained with one, and chances are you can shoot it pretty good. But I just wanted to kind of go over, it is safety checked, the fit of it. Now, personally, I carry a lot in the summer months or the warmer months, small of the back. Yeah, I know, I'm. I'm stupid and shouldn't do that. It's really slow. I get that, but you know, it's better than a sharp stick, but for me, it's the most comfortable. Now in the winter months, I do carry outside the waistband and a really tight compact Kydex holster. Now, the cool thing about these is a lot of them carry the same way. Now, one thing I will say with the added width of the Glock 30, you may or may not notice it a little bit depending on your holster setup and how you carry. Now for me, as you can see, it's, I mean, it's, it's gone. It's disappeared. I normally wear these old farmer clothes most all winter long, so you'd never even know it was there. And I will say the, the 19 fits very, very similar, just like that. Not even seen at all. And the 26 itself is the same way. So if you're carrying that way, you'd never even know it was there. It's really, really easy to conceal. And the Glock 30 is no different. It's extremely easy to conceal. 
But what I want to do is kind of give some close-ups of these pistols. We're going to get some actual dimensions for you guys that might be interested in the 30. Get you got some weights and some actual length and widths on it so you can make an informed decision. All right, guys. Let's start by taking a look at the Glock 26. And as we mentioned before, it is known as the Baby Glock or the original Baby Glock until the 43 came out, but I'll always know it as that. But as you can tell, the overall length of it, you're looking at about oh six and a quarter inches in length overall height is about four inches with the magazine go ahead and put mag back in there and about four and an eighth in height and overall width you're looking at about one inch in width so extremely extremely compact pistol now the glock 19 and all these have been safety checked there's no rounds in them fellas i'm not an idiot overall length you're looking at about oh seven and seven eighths in length about an inch in width again width is the same your height with the magazine is about five inches so still very very compact now for the pistol in question the glock 30 now as i mentioned the big difference with this pistol is going to be that it's going to be thicker guys i mean it, they can't really help it you can get the the slim models that do cut the width down a little bit but bob i'll be honest with you i do have a little bit bigger hand so the 30 fits me better and i like the feel of it i feel like i have a very very full grip with this pistol and the recoil as you can tell from shooting is pretty much nil i mean you wouldn't even know that you're shooting at 45 with this i was so surprised when i first got my hands on one of these and i honestly think you guys would too but overall width with this one is about an eighth, eighth of an inch wider. It's about an inch and an eighth. You're looking at a height of four and five eighths and an overall length of six and about seven eighths. Now, these two, I brought the 26 out here just because I hear a lot of guys actually comparing the 30 to the 26. And really, that's not a very good comparison. The 30 actually compares to the 19 more in overall dimensions. If you notice, if you guys that have a 19, this can kind of give you a, a good basis of what you're looking for or what you're going to end up with if you don't have one and you haven't seen one in person. But the overall length is very, very similar. The 30 is just a smidge, I mean a hair shorter. Obviously, the thickness is going to go to the 30, being an eighth of an inch wider. The length is going to be a pinch longer in the 19. As you can tell, it is just ever so slightly longer with the magazine and the mag well. But overall, guys, if you've not shot one of these and you're thinking of a 30, but you've never really, you know, decided to take the jump on one, I really, really think you'd be surprised. But the 26 unloaded with a magazine in it, you're looking at one pound six ounces basically the 19 one pound eight ounces and the 30 one pound ten ounces so for not a whole lot more weight i mean i think you're gaining a substantial substantial increase in firepower now granted granted round count is diminished you know you get a 15 plus one in the glock 19 in the Glock 26, you get a 10 plus 1, and you also get a 10 plus 1 in the Glock 30. Now, granted, you can get magazine extensions and stuff like that, but honestly, for EDC, I think magazine extensions kind of defeat the purpose of a compact pistol. You're wanting the pistol to be compact, so I don't know why you would be going adding extra stuff on the bottom of here. I mean, I, if that's what you want to do, that's fine, but I don't really do it, but overall i think this is a great great gun for those that haven't really considered it it's a really good option if you're into 45 which i know a lot of guys are i don't really care for 1911s but i love the 45 cal but overall guys i really hope this turns out to be an informative video for you guys maybe some of you all that are kind of on the fence about the glock 30 you don't know whether or not to add it to your collection or not but i think it is a great great edc 45 caliber pistol as I've shown, it's easy conceal. Magazines, easily, readily available at any of your local gun stores, online as well. A host of different uh, extras, accessories, you know, you can get sights and everything else for them to fit your needs as well. There is even a 
Picatinny rail on the bottom, which actually the Glock 26 does not have. So you could use this as an actual home defense gun. I would personally recommend just because you could put a light on it as well. But overall, I think it's a great, great option for a compact 45 just for the ease of handling of it. And as I've shown with the holster, you can easily conceal it just as well as either of these other two pistols. And for those curious, this is a Phalanx Universal Holster. These things are absolutely great. I love them. I've got a couple of them now, and they fit very, very snug. They are belt holsters, but I can carry anything from my Glock 30, my Glock 17. I've had my Glock 41 in it my Glock 19, even the 26 I've carried in this as well in winter carry. So definitely an option and they're only about $35. So it's really, really tough to beat. But I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you got any questions on this or anything else on the channel, please feel free to post them up or hit me up on the Facebook page. I'm always glad to help. And as always, fellas, shoot straight. Later.